I have this hard drive. Before I had this hard drive. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Julia back with another video that no one requested. As you guys can tell from the title, I will be showing you what is in my lovely camera bag. And also I will be showing you some of the equipment that I usually use when I film. Wow. Before we begin, I do just want to preface this by saying if you guys are here because you want to start a YouTube channel and you're wondering what type of equipment that you should get, I'll show you. This is what you need to use when you first start out. If you have a smartphone, if it has a camera, this is a phone, an iPhone. Use this. Right here. And some good outside natural lighting is going to do the job great for you. I'm sure you guys have heard that every video that you watch when you start out because I think that it's true. I just think starting off with your phone allows you to kind of get used to talking to a camera and it's not as intimidating. Intimidating? Intimidate. Intimidate. Wow. I just want to encourage you guys if all you have is your phone then start with that and get the hang of it see if you actually like it I have actually filmed a couple of my videos on my phone and it looks fine of course it's not the best quality but it gets the job done and the cameras especially on iPhones do such a great job I'm not really too familiar with Androids Team iPhone. iPhones do an. Be intentional about whipping your phone out and just filming to get the hang of talking to a camera because it can be intimidating. So that is my little piece of advice. But with all that being said, let's just jump into the video. I also will try and have everything linked below in the description box. So if you guys are interested in getting any of these products, you can. I'm not sponsored by any of them. So I'll also be giving like my feedback on each of these items. That way you'll know if it's worth it or not to spend your coin on. First and foremost, this is my bag. I got this bag from Best Buy. The brand is Low Pro never heard of it but what i love about this is it has so many zippers the little side pockets for water the tripod the tripod that the camera is on right now i've actually put it right here and just clipped it onto the side so i have kind of like everything all together honestly i think it's worth it just because it is really like durable it's not gonna break essentially i love all of the pockets too i also wish that this was waterproof i didn't even think about getting a waterproof camera bag but honestly i would suggest getting a waterproof camera bag in this little front pocket i keep all of my sd cards in here just so i know where everything is just try and keep it with all of my camera stuff and then i do want to show you guys because look at so many compartments in here oh oh Okay, so in the big pocket, oh, this is where all the fun is. First and foremost, I have my handheld tripod. This is Joby. Honestly, not my favorite. Um, I wouldn't suggest getting this because although I like how bendable this is, you can set this up on a tree, stand it up on the table. Whatever. And this can be for the phone or you can take this off and just put your camera straight on this part. I just don't prefer these little balls because they break quite easily. To get this back in its like normal position or what should be normal is really difficult. So you can just hold it. I would suggest getting something that is <clears throat> like, look, it's so annoying. Get yourself a different tripod i don't know which one but next up my photography camera 
Um, this is a Nikon D3400. My cousin gifted this to me. Gannon, if you are watching this, I love you. Thank you so much. I fell in love with this. So much fun to take photos off of. I may invest in a newer, more high-end camera, but for right now, this is what works for me and what does the job. Basically with this camera, the lens can come off. So this is a 50 millimeter lens. It's really good for portraits and close-ups. I honestly don't really know what else to say about this camera other than I love taking photos off from it. If you are a beginner, I think this is a really good camera to practice with. Next up, I have this little mic and it connects to an aux cord or an aux. What is this called? I'm not sure. An aux. I actually don't really use this anymore, but this is the brand Rode actually a pretty good mic i'm keeping it just in case if i need it down the road the camera that i'm using right now the canon g7x mark ii um, does not have an aux so i can't use the mic the built-in mic does fine so i don't need this right now the reason i actually got the mic was because of this bad boy so this is a sony a6400 <sighs> It has this flip screen when you're vlogging you can hold it and see yourself and Then the lens right here was just the kit lens that came with it. It's an 18 to 135 millimeter lens I honestly am NOT like a professional so I don't know much about cameras or anything like that So I'm sorry if I don't elaborate or go into detail. That is the reason why I don't get along with her very well it just didn't work out for me the way that I wished it would have. I think this is a great camera if you know what you're doing, if you know how to work the manual modes, if you can kind of mess around with the exposure and the, what's it called? ISO, f-stop, aperture, whatever you want to call it, then I think that's a great choice for you. But it's a lot of money. A lot of money. The other negative thing about it for me, it's just so chunky and it's so difficult to bring this around anywhere you go. It's like you're going to get stared at because of how massive this thing is. Look at this dude. And then honestly, just the quality of footage that I was seeing from this, I was not happy with it for the amount of money that I paid for it. It was really difficult to get all the coloring right with this for me. The Sonys aren't very good with the low light. Whereas the Canon G7X is so much better in all lighting conditions, I feel like at least. All that to say, if you are a beginner, I would not suggest getting something like this unless you are really interested in being patient and learning about how to operate a camera. What I would suggest if you are a beginner, um, other than a phone, if you are looking to invest in a camera is getting the one that I have that I'm filming off of right now and that's the Canon G7X. I am absolutely in love with it. I'm obsessed. It is the cutest little thing. It's so portable. Just take it. It's my little baby and go. It's just the best feeling. If you are just starting out, then I would just, then I would suggest Can't talk. Then I would suggest getting the camera that I have. I have a little zipper up here. Basically, I just keep like all the lens covers in here. I really don't even know where some of these things go. Probably best if you protect your lens, but. It has a little slot for the SD card. So I think my bag is pretty much done. What I edit on is my computer right here. I do have a Mac, which again, I have personally used my phone to edit on iMovie. It comes with iMovie. This can literally do the job, so there's no excuses. If you guys are wanting to start creating content, you can do it. I believe in you, no excuses. But if you're wanting to invest in a computer, I have a Mac. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. I have a MacBook Pro and I edit on Final Cut Pro. I was actually gifted this software. Thank you, Allie and Christian. It's, I 
think a one-time payment of 350 that is what i use to edit all of my videos but again if you have an iphone you can just use imovie because it works really great as well and it will get the job done some of the last few things that i have i have this hard drive you guys before i had this hard drive mm -mm. the editing process was not fun um, my computer was always reaching its storage limits and it was really frustrating so i had to get this external hard drive so it would make the process a lot smoother easier i have something in my eye i'm sorry right, and then the last little thing that i have for the mac is this little extension because if you guys know apple is very stingy and cheap if you want to say and they don't include any usb or hdmi ports on the mac because of course they want you to spend your money on more products by them so love that it's from best buy but basically it has all of the ports so it has the sd chip and the usb-c port right here as well as all of these too so i think that's about it like i said everything i mentioned will be linked down below in the description box so check those out out i just wanted to encourage you guys if you are wanting to take that leap of faith and start a youtube channel or create content whatever it is that you are wanting to do you can do it i believe in you use your phone use whatever you have get creative and do the dang thing anyways thank you guys so much for watching i love all of you if you haven't already subscribed to my channel if you like this video like it and comment down below if you have any questions i'll see you in the next one